Hey y'all, welcome back to the damn bar for another Big B beer review. Got a different glass here because I got something different and I just had to find a glass last minute. Now, y'all might be thinking this ain't beer, but it is a malted beverage, which is, means it's a brewed. We have the Beast Unleashed. Hard, 6%, mean green for monster energy. Malt beverage with natural flavors, artificial color, and artificial sweetener. Yum. Wow. Okay. Brewed and canned by Monster Brewing Limited Liability Corporation in Longmont, Colorado. So, <clears throat> need to add that on here. my notes yeah so uh i know that my brewery that i like to go to you know my hometown brewery they are majority owned by monster energy i think it's 51 percent is owned by them and the rest is by redner um so and they've ever since they they didn't just buy out they've been buying out breweries and stuff and they are using it to make their own line of stuff and uh, they got this variety pack, and there's four different flavors, which we're going to review them all here at the damn bar, one at a time. And we're going to start with this one, The Beast, Mean Green. <clears throat> so, our original crew has been making drinks for 30-something years now. Our favorite brand, Monster Energy, is about to turn 21. We figured, why not celebrate the big day by making an adult beverage? We hit delete on the energy blend, cut out the caffeine, and ditched the sugar. Next, we brewed up the smoothest tasting alcohol ever and blended it with our tried and true flavors. The beast is unleashed. Great taste. 6.0 my percent alcohol and no sugar to weigh you down. Get ready to celebrate and don't be afraid of the big bad beast. Cheers. Nice. So, interesting, interesting. Yes. They got rid of the sugar, they got rid of the caffeine, which I get, I, I know they had, uh, when Four, Four Loco did all that uh, jazz and people were getting messed, and, messed up stupid like with uh, Four Locos, 14% ABV and, and an energy drink all in one. They made a law where you can't have that. So, I don't know why they needed to ditch the sugar. I hate fake sugar drinks. So let's see. Oh, before I open it, I like how they have their little, little logo there on the top. I do like Monster Energy drinks every now and then. I mean, not all the time. So, oh, yeah. It smells like an energy drink. Hell, it smells like if I was blindfolded, it smells like a Red Bull. I bet if they're watching, they're like, you did not just compare us to Red Bull. What the hell? It looks like Red Bull. There we go. Mean green. Yeah. So I'm guessing this one's supposed to be like their basic. That would be my guess. As you can see, it looks like an energy drink. It looks like a... Uh, Champagne right now in the glass, I'll tell you that. Obviously very clear. I can still smell it right now over here. It smells like like a Red Bull, like uh, like like the regular monster does. Um, it is a malted beverage. I'm gonna give that about a three or so on the SRM. Yeah, I mean, smells like a, like a Regular Monster, I guess. I, I've never really had the regular Monster ones. I've had Red Bull, and that's what it smells like. Salute. Okay. Wow. That tastes like a Red Bull, or like their regular Monster. Forgive me there, guys. I know you're getting mad over there if you're from Monster and you're watching this. But I never really drank a lot of Monsters. Um, 
you can tell it's fake sugar. It's got that fake sugar taste. It's very smooth, very smooth, sweet, very sweet, but it's like that fake sugar sweetness. Mm. And, but it, it tastes like an energy drink. It really does. I mean, the, the flavor is right on, right on the money. The only thing that turns it off for me is that fake sugar flavor. I'm not big on that. I'm not big on that at all. Um, this is a hard category to pair food with. I'm, I mean, this is a, like an energy drink. Uh, I don't know, uh, a granola bar? You need something to be fit while you're running and, and drinking energy and I don't know. Yeah, a granola bar would actually be a good pairing with this. So, anyways, moving along. Um, it's th These haven't really been, I don't think, I think Beer Advocate's a little too snooty to even try to review it. Because it's not, none of them are on Beer Advocate. On a tap, however, they're on tap. And this one, the Mean Green, gets a 3.47 with over 2.4 thousand reviews. 3.47. That's not that good. It's not the worst, but it's still not that good. Especially for that low amount of, you know, reviews. Um, me. Would I buy this again? Hmm. Well, a 12-pack of these 12-ounce cans... I believe there's 12 ounce cans. It's gotta be. Yeah, 12 ounce. A 12 pack of these right now will run you about 15 bucks. That's about $1.35 for per can. That's not that bad. So the price wise is fine. Yeah, I like the price wise. It's just not my cup of tea. You know, this ain't really my thing. I'm not really, you know, I do like this though. I probably would buy this one. This flavor again. I do like this one. I think they nailed their profile. It's almost a little like they, they could have cut back on that fake sugar. They should have just used real sugar. You know? I don't know why they had to ditch the sugar. You can't tell it's 6%. You can't even tell this is an alcoholic drink. And that right there is bonus points for me. Um, Big B beer review grade. I think I'm going to give this one a B+. Plus. too shabby i wish they were when you know kept sugar and were able to put the taurine and all that stuff in there and uncle sam had to mess that up for us but they should at least put the real sugar in there so stay tuned y'all because i got uh there's four flavors this is the first so and let me know in the comments below if y'all have had these and what you think um please make sure you hit that like button if you like this and if you want to see more, hit subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. Till next time, salute.